about your pitching staff this weekend? Yeah, I think, you know, Combsy has kind of done it in two different ways both both years, but I think um, he's kind of found some roadblocks or obstacles or things to figure out and has made adjustments. He's got some savvy to him. He's a hard worker. He's extremely coachable, um, and he's throwing the ball really well for us now, which everybody standing here, including him, know that's key for our team. Um, and then, you know, kind of still a little bit of frustration from, well, what else is down there, you, you know? I think Snead has done a good job for us. Um, we kind of know what we got with Stom. He's an older guy, and yeah, he had to fight through some soreness, so I don't think we got the real version of him until now he's kind of gotten in a rhythm. And, you know, Kirby throws strikes, cost of doing business. When you got a lead, you definitely want strikes, and sometimes they hit it, sometimes they don't, especially when they're one of the better guys in the, in the country and Tommy White. So, um, you know, I think as each week goes by, I think we feel more comfortable about the guys we've been using. We're eager to use a couple guys that we haven't. Um, and then also, I, I think we feel more comfortable about maybe who belongs where and how we can just put these guys in a, in a position to succeed. Talked about yesterday's win being gutty. What was the overall personality of this team through this weekend, do you feel like? Um, just keep pushing forward. Um, again, whatever cliche you want to tie to that, but um, just guys just kept moving in the right direction because, you know, we never really had a big fireworks display on offense. Defensively, I don't think we played one game that was incredibly clean. Um, pitching at times, you know, today the one walk was huge, but, um, you know, it, it wasn't the prettiest weekend overall. So just keep pushing in the right direction. And I think, too, there was a lot of guys that were just ready to play. I mean, my theme, I said to, to go on a tangent, I think it's proper to share what we were talking about in the outfield with the guys was um, today was about guys being ready to go physically and mentally. And Combs was down there all weekend, and we made him wait to the very last go of it and, and he was ready to rock and roll throw his stuff up there and see what happens and it worked out well for him and then you know Brad Key his at bat allows a lot of different things to happen for our team um, and you know if I'm Brad Key I transfer in from a Juco I want to be out there every single day but his approach and his balance and his spirit when he's in the cage before the game even though he's not in the lineup is exactly what you'd want and then when he gets out there it's no more Mr. Nice Guy he competes and then the, the more important or most important guy for me, just because it's been 10 years since he's been here, is Ethan Payne. Um, if, if people at the game you know, only understood how much time went into that bunt, not only just executing it, but making it look easy, it would blow your mind. But he's the very definition of what it takes to be a good baseball player. You gotta do it day in and day out, regardless of what the result is. And uh, he's gonna have a special career in life when he's done with our, our time here. How much do programs need guys like that? I mean, everybody talks about the stars and the guys that get drafted, but how much do programs need those guys too? I think in order to achieve what the program we just played um, achieved last year, you know, guys like Cade Beloso and other guys like that, any winning team I've been a part of, um, you know, since I've been here, but I'm reflecting back on, on other ones. And then, you know, times too, when it's gone awry, you're, you don't have enough of those guys. Um, I think you can always kind of point to a figure that maybe you see as a, you know, a good team guy or, or, or whatever it might be. But um, he's a very unique one, and he's huge. I mean, it was young, much younger in his career. We decided to either bring him on trips or activate him on the roster um, because we thought he, he could help us a little bit on the field, but more he, he could help us, you know, in the dugout in the clubhouse. There's so much free time to baseball, and what goes on during nine innings is, is the most important. Don't lose sight of that. But at the hotel, out to eat with the guys or parents, uh, talking in the locker room, at the hotel, you know, all those spots. It's huge. And he's an influencer, not Instagram in a bikini or anything like that, but he's an influencer. Uh, speaking of freshman and pain, just the team's ability and willingness to play small ball, how much is that kind of allowing your team to take that next step? Uh, I think it adds to what we need to be able to do in different environments. I mean, um, you know, eventually you win enough games to go to Hoover. That's the most fun place to play in the world. Um, and in order to score down there, sometimes you got to play small ball. And then even in our park where some people label it, I think, unfairly, incredibly offensive, it depends on what day it is. It depends on who's pitching in other circumstances. So the more ways you can find a way to win and the more ways you can find a way to score, uh, the more complete your team is. And I don't think we've kind of, going back to the pitching thing, the more we kind of got options down there in the bullpen as well. I think we're sorting through a lot of that and still building on top of what our foundation is of just a, a good group of guys that play hard and they, they certainly have team chemistry. 
Well, that's great. We've had all those things for a while now. We need to keep, you know, adding on attributes that'll help us win. What's been different for Combs these last two outings? I think pitching a little more um, instead of just throwing. But again, um, I kind of stay out of the, the master's way, Coach Anderson. Um, and, and I think Combs has been determined to, first of all, get out there. At first, we labeled him, you know, a certain situation and it didn't pop up a whole bunch. So he, he really, you know, didn't have an opportunity to get in that rhythm or get cozy out there. And uh, hopefully the fact he was able to throw today allows that. And, uh, you know, I kind of went on a, another tangent with John about how inclusive a weekend is or how all-inclusive, not, not Cancun or Tulum or anything, but every, everything counts. And uh, Snead, Snead got hot on Friday and, and came out like a madman yesterday. So there was only so much he had to offer us today, and, and Combs doing what he did uh, was enormous. How big was it for uh, How big was it for Xander to be able to go the distance he went today and uh, build on his past couple of SEC starts? Yeah, I, I think it you know allows him to understand that we believe in him. I think last weekend was one where. I think literally in the middle of the game, I had to answer a question from a, a former coach that's really smart, like, why'd you take him out there? And we just went with what we think. I mean, we have so much, all these SEC teams have so much data and support staff and, and things like that. And at the end of the day, you go with your gut. Um, but our gut tells us anytime he's out there, we're good with whatever happens. And you could tell the vibe in the dugout, the guys love him when he's out there. And the position players certainly love playing behind him too. What were you gonna say? How much confidence do you have in Banky right now? A lot. Um, I was going to joke and say more than I should, <laughs> just because he and I um, kind of rib each other. I guess I rib him more than he can do back to me because he wants to get in the games. But um, any situation. And, uh, you know, there's one moment this year, if I have any regrets at all, um, you know, well, I guess there's several regrets. Anytime it doesn't work when you make a move, you, you second guess yourself or you wonder what you could have done different. But. I can think of a key moment where he would have been perfect for that situation and we didn't use him. So that's my best way to describe it without BSing you. But he's got great presence and he obviously has good stuff too and he wants to be out there and it's a resilient arm. We could have used him all three days and um, he wants to be out there too. It was not a good look or a friendly look he gave me when uh, I told him we were going to make a change. But again, we kind of went with what we, we originally planned to do and felt was best. Well, Sander, just how much flexibility does that give you handling the bullpen during the weekend, feeling like he can give you more than two innings? I think it leaves you less scrambling in the other games. And again, I, I kind of already said to it, and I think our fans are becoming some of the best fans in the country for baseball, um, but there are some newbies. And I think, again, you still got to realize what goes on in the series. It's very difficult to win a series in general. So uh, it made me nervous as all hell, our fans yelling sweep when the last hitter is still up. And there's plenty of, Tommy White standing there waiting to do some damage, you, you know what I mean? Um, so everything affects everything. And because you got a little bit of security there and you know a guy that's gonna throw strikes and compete, it, it, it changes the conversations in the office and certainly some planning as well and to our benefit. How special is more what the top three guys in your lineup are, are doing right now kind of together as a trio? Yeah, and I, I think together is the key word, the, the way they interact with one another. Um, obviously, Simo and Blake have a, a ton of history here together, but also just with the program. And then I've, I've said it too many times, Billy fits in, in an odd way so well and gets along with those two guys uh, a whole bunch that they're, they're doing it together. And I think they realize, um, you know, how much we love having them, but probably how much of a headache they are um, when the game starts and you see those three guys are going to kick it off and KT when he's himself um, and not trying to do too much is, is waiting in, in the wings as well. But, you know, those three guys are a headache for other people. And you talk about the weekend. The one thing we know is we've got those three guys to kickstart us anytime the game starts or the lineup rolls around. What are the things that you like most about this team at the, the midpoint of SEC play? And what are kind of those things still out there for you to see? Yeah, again, I, I think that um, – you know, we're kind of adding different ways that guys can help us, whether it is playing small ball, who's the best situational guy to pinch run. Uh, I think Ariel now is obviously a defender that I think um, can impact the game in a big way. Uh, so he's been useful. And I, I think some other guys have gotten past some early season trying to do too much or wondering what is their role. Uh, but there's still stuff up for grabs. Like I said, I think we're, we're fighting to find, I told John, fighting to find our exact, exact best you know, nine guys, but it might change every day based on who's, you know, on the mound over there and, and how guys are feeling, like it or not. 
things kind of come in cycles and guys do throw a little better as the season goes on or a guy may have a hiccup or give up a run or two. So um, really, I just think it's a general theme of we've got a lot of things we can pile on a strong foundation. And I think the guys are willing and have the right attitude to, to move forward to, towards that. Thank you. Thank you. First sweep and lead play. How's it feel to take off this weekend? It's awesome, man. I think, uh, you know, getting that, help that first sweep out the way is huge, uh, especially, you know, home in front of our fans on a beautiful Sunday. So it was definitely fun. And uh, I think everyone loves playing another shoot. So. Feel like you learned anything about this team this weekend? Uh, just, the, just the toughness, you know, in, in close games. Uh, guys getting on base, guys taking big swings, hitting homers. Um, I think it was super cool. And I, I, I know I love games like that, you know, close games. And we had two of them. Three of them, really. So, hopefully, we can, you know, keep keep winning those those, those close games. How good, it, how, how good is it to know y'all have that, you know, the ability to go win those kind of money moments like you did all weekend? Uh, I think it's huge. Uh, I think you find out what type of team you are a lot throughout the season, uh, and this is one thing we can take with us and put in our back pocket. Two homers in the game. Kind of walk us through both of those ABs, both big hits. Um, be honest, I blacked out. Um, I want to say the first one was a heater, and the second one was a slap. Um, and just knowing the situation, 3-2 count, um, one of them. And um, I know if the guy hit the second one off of was a huge slider drive, so trying to see it up and see it in my kind of my zone and uh, got some good wood on it. So the wind helped out a little bit too. You aware of you and Blake, how close y'all are for home run records? Yeah, we kind of we kind of joke about it a little bit. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's always fun to kind of be in this, this kind of situation. But whoever wins, or even if we tie, I would like to tie just so no one has bragging rights. But if he wins, he wins. Um, but it's, it's cool to be tied. Do you think he was going to take the lead back from you there? Right oh, after? 100%. As soon as he hit it, I was like, that's a homer. Um, thank, thank you for the win. Uh, I can be tied for a little bit. Um, so hopefully Tuesday, we'll see. Tuesday, we'll see. I'm scared. So we'll see. What do you feel like you learned about the pitching staff this weekend? Uh, I think coming into this week, we were, it was kind of a question mark. And, who started on Friday, um, and Stom showed that he was capable of being a Friday night starter in this league um, and with the Pac-12 over the end. So, I mean, he's kind of our guy, and we, we've trusted in him and relied on him a lot. So he's definitely been huge for us. How important is what Xander's done some of these last few weeks to be able to get deeper in games on Sunday? You know, I walked in the locker room, and I saw his name, and I was like, man, I would never think that Xander would be the guy to be our Sunday guy. You know, I, my two-year series, we'd choose that guy. And, He's doing stuff that, man, I, I'm so proud of him. And, um, he's doing stuff that I never thought he can do and, and so composed and so confident doing it. And, and it's just beautiful, man. He's worked so hard these last four years to get this job, and he's, he's running with it. So hopefully he can keep doing that, and we can keep, you know, scoring runs for him. Have you noticed anything different that he's done that's allowed him to become that Sunday starter? He's still Xander. He's still the same goofy, you know, doing interviews, you know, chewing 15 pieces of gum. Like, he's still Xander. Um, I think it's just the confidence now, you know, him being older, him having another year here and understanding things and him and Coach A and Cal and whoever's catching can get a better um, understanding of what to do with hitters and, and kind of what works for him. So I think it's, like I said, it's, it's a beautiful thing and he's worked really hard for it. How would you describe one through three in Tennessee's lineup? Have fun with whoever's pitching. Um, I think for us, one, two, three, me, Blake, and Billy, I think, you know, we can all do damage, we can run, we can kind of spray the ball everywhere. So good luck. As this season's gone on, you kind of had, you know, a couple guys in the bullpen who've stepped up here the past couple of weeks. You know, Bracky Laurie's come back, had some nice at bats. I mean, different. You know, Ariel Tico's back there in short. How is this kind of what you envision? Like throughout the season, guys would be emerging, and this team would kind of keep coming into picture. Yeah, I think even in the fall, you know, we knew we had a lot of great position players and a great staff, um, and it was going to be hard to try and place everyone in the right position in the right time. And, had injuries at the beginning of the year, had some injuries here and there. So I think now with everything working back full circle, um, you see the type of team we are. Um, we have depth and we have guys that can throw seven, I can throw one, it doesn't matter. So I, I think it's really good. Anything else for Christian? All right, thanks, man. Probably one through three in the uh, end of season lineup. Dangerous. Uh, I feel like we're all pretty confident when we go up there. Uh, I mean, even if, even if we don't get a job done, we have the people behind us still on KT. Dane, uh, whoever they throw in there. So I think I think one through nine are pretty strong. Well, the double you hit off the wall, you take the ball off the bat. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no wind, wind definitely got it, but oh well. See, Moe just kind of talked about it, but how aware are you too? How much you kind of joke about the home run chase at this point? We were, we talked about it. Um, I mean, 
like like he said, whoever, whoever wins it wins it. But if we could tie, and then we want to tie. And I said to get the first sweep of the SEC plays weekend. Uh, huge. And if I had to pick a team to do it against, it's probably them for knocking us out last year. Uh, it's, that's a team that we love competing against, and they love competing against us too. Um, just just a fun series whenever we play each other. Uh, they're a good team, and I think they'll turn around at some point. What did you find out about this team's toughness and maybe grit through this weekend? Uh, I mean, we got punched and we punched back. Same thing with them. They're they punching us, punching back, and I, I thought it was a pretty gritty series. Um, it, was, it was fun. Do you know that about this team? You guys had that, especially maybe on the pitching side as much as you showed? Uh, yeah. I mean, everybody, everybody in that locker room has to have that. I mean, that's kind of the brand of baseball we play. So, I mean, when we go out there, just we're, we're pretty gritty. Nice to have been see, to, to see different guys step up the past couple of weeks, too. Both out of the bullpen, you know, guys come off the bench, like Lori coming back in the mix and Antigua. And, and nice to, to, to kind of see this thing kind of come together. Uh, it's huge. Uh, but we also we're confident in people coming off the bench and out of, out of the bullpen. We know what everybody has. We know we know everybody's pretty good here. So, I mean, it, it's cool to see that the results are there. But this team's maturity. How much did you see that throughout this series? Obviously, getting close and obviously going away. What does that say to the team's maturity? Uh, it's it's pretty cool. Also, I mean, Dean Curley, he's a freshman. He's he's pretty mature out there. He's talking to everybody. He's, he's trying to be the point guard out there, which. I think it's cool. Um, I, I think the communication has been, has been really good. So if we, if we keep that going on, it'll be pretty good. How big was it for Xander to be able to go as far as he did and do as well in, on a day when the offense was kind of slow to start? Um, I mean, he's he's been huge for us this year. Um, and I'm happy for him because I mean he's been he's been grinding those midweeks all for his whole career here, and for him to get those Sunday starts is huge. And it's, it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, pitching overall this weekend, I mean, you had Causey on, on Friday with Stamos and B yesterday, and then you know, today Xander Combs. It felt like a really solid outing for the weekend for the pitchers. Um, I mean, Causey's obviously been struggling the, the past two weeks, but we, I mean, we know what he has. We know he's a pretty dominant pitcher. Uh, he got he got in the lab with Coach A and I mean, fixed a little bit. And he he shoved when he came in. Uh, Stamos also got the start Friday, and I, I think he did pretty well too. Anything else to play? Thank you.